Hi! Welcome to my channel, My Great Wall of Manga! I'm Amanda, and I've been in love with manga for well over a decade. In fact, I even built a wall out of it! On this channel, I'll be pulling a series off the wall at random, and we'll go over a quick summary, introduce you to some of the main characters of the series, and I'll give you five reasons why you should read this manga. Okay, for this episode, we're going to be looking at Monkey High by the author Shoko Akira. The story is about Haruna, which is the daughter of a corrupt politician that was just arrested, and she's still dealing with the fallout from that. So she moves from her elite high school for politician kids and the rich and powerful and goes to kind of a low-class public school. In her opinion, high school is just a monkey mountain and all the other students are just monkeys and completely beneath her. And she really doesn't have a particularly good opinion of her fellow students. On basically her first day at her new school, the most popular boy in the class starts hitting on her and even nominates her to have the lead role in the school play. And she's not really interested in him or any of that. In fact, she turns down her nomination for the lead. But regardless of her opinion of him or his advances, all the other girls start hating her because the most popular boy likes her. Anyhow, one thing leads to another, and she tries to make it very clear that she's not interested in him or basically anything that class is doing. So she ends up getting the job of working on the kind of side character costumes for the school play. As she was working on the costume, she gets to know one of the students better. He's the class clown. He's the shortest boy in class, and he likes goofing off a lot. In fact, when she first sees him, she thinks he's like a baby monkey. As they get to know each other more, she actually starts falling for not the prince of the class, but the class clown. Now for the characters. First up is the main character, Haruna. Haruna isn't the cheerful, happy-go-lucky, always optimistic main female lead that most shoujo manga have. In fact, she's kind of cold, calculating, disinterested in class activities, and kind of arrogant. From day one, when she walks into her new classroom, she kind of assumes that everybody is beneath her. And if anybody's trying to be nice to her, it's just to manipulate her or get on her good side. She doesn't really trust anybody. This makes it both difficult for anybody to make friends with her and for her to really develop any relationships with anybody. Basically, the only person that's even willing to approach her once she shows her personality is the class clown. Next up is Macharu. Macharu is the baby monkey class clown. He's very friendly to everybody. Loves joking around with the guys. Nobody takes him seriously. He's the kind of happy-go-lucky character that always has a smile on his face and nothing gets him down. And last up is Atsu. Atsu is the class prince. He's kind of a girl chaser. Basically, if it's got a skirt, he's going to be hitting on it. And because he's been the class prince for so long, he just kind of expects all girls to like him. And he's kind of thrown for a loop when Haruna doesn't really have any interest in him. In fact, he kind of feels insulted when she starts liking Macharu more. Okay, and here are five reasons why you should read the manga Monkey High. Number one, it's a fun, lighthearted manga. 
It's definitely not too serious. Even though the main character is a bit on the serious side, it never goes too overboard or becomes too dramatic. It's a very light read. Number two, not a slow burn romance. Within the first volume of the graphic novel, Macharu and Haruna are already basically a couple. Though the manga series does go on beyond the first volume, it's mainly different obstacles and circumstances they deal with after they're already a couple. Number three, it's usually the male lead that is cool and angsty with a kind of dark or tragic backstory. And it's the female lead that's cheerful and always optimistic and fun and cute and everybody likes them. Well, with this manga, they actually switched the roles. It's the female lead that is kind of cool and aloof and angsty with the tough background. And it's the male lead that is cute and fun and everybody likes him and warms the cold heart of the main character with his cheerfulness. Number four, Macharu, the male lead, is a very cute character. The character design has kind of messy, short hair. He always has a great big smile, always cheerful and happy. And it's not just the character design. The character is written really well where you honestly believe that this is kind of like the guy version of the happy-go-lucky, cheerful girl character. And number five. Shoujo doesn't often have political elements in it. In fact, it almost never has political elements in it. Corrupt politicians are also super rare. So it's kind of interesting that that is the backstory of the main character, where her dad is a corrupt politician that got arrested. I mean, I can't think of much of any other manga that are like that. Maybe Princess Jellyfish? Though this is kind of an interesting addition to the story and makes for an interesting background for the main character, it's not actually a huge part of the story and I wouldn't call this story particularly political or something that has a lot of politics in it. So it's not like it drags the story down or makes it really technical or kind of boring. Likewise, you don't really need to know much about Japanese politics to understand that. It never goes that far in depth. But it is kind of an interesting added element. Okay, that's it for my review of Monkey High. Thank you for visiting my channel, My Great Wall of Manga. If you're interested in anime too, please visit my website, animehanabi.com.